This video is about a starting and stopping problem on my Bosch dishwasher. The model number here is shown. I'm going to walk through doing a few tests with and without water to demonstrate the difference of uh, how this problem occurs. First we're going to start with half a liter of water in the sump. So to do this I measured out 500 milliliters of water poured it into the bottom of an otherwise empty dishwasher and started the cycle. You'll hear the pump start and stop as it tries but fails to pump out very much water. Now if you listen carefully, you heard about three or four times where it tried to pump and didn't make much progress. Here we try it again. Same issue. Now we're going to try it one more time. This is the third try. All of these tests were done right after each other. I've just edited it down to make it a bit more watchable. If you can call watching a dishwasher watchable. So you're probably thinking, alright, it's a problem with the control board or a problem with the pump. But watch what happens when only half a liter of water is put in. Listen carefully to the pump once it actually makes it to the bottom of the sump and it gets rid of that, uh, what, 250 mils. Notice that as soon as the sump is empty, the pump runs continuously. We're going to do it again with the same amount of water. So here's a third time just to prove that this is repeatable. As soon as it makes it through 250 mils of water, you hear the pump running continuously as it's sucking air. So just to figure out why this is happening, we're going to do a third test. This time, no water in the sump. This is an empty dishwasher, and what we should hear is it's running the pump continuously and sucking air the whole time, because it actually has no problem running the pump. The control board is activating the pump, and the pump runs continuously. It just doesn't do so if there's water in there.
For some reason, I've always been suspicious of this part. I think Bosch calls it a lid. It's a little plastic thing that goes at the bottom of the sump after the filter and just before the um, drain pump. And it kind of clicks into place. I've always been suspicious because it tends to wiggle about and I've noticed in the past when I've sort of wiggled it and tried it again I seem to get either better or worse results but when making this video I took it out and when I put it back in I found with a lot of force I could kind of make it click into place in a way that has never really felt it before so right after doing that unfortunately I didn't get it on video but after clicking it into place everything works So it really felt like everything was working properly at this point. So to really make sure, let's try it with a lot more water. Here's a couple of liters worth and we're going to fill the whole sump up. So we're going to add two jugs of this. So four or five liters of water, which is what you'd have in between cycles if the dishwasher was running normally. Let's see how it does pumping this much water out. So success, somehow the positioning of this little part either makes the dishwasher run properly or makes it completely fail at pumping out water. Perhaps it makes a seal around the pump or something and, and somehow the motor or the control board is able to tell if it's got that seal and it starts and stops the pump until, uh, I don't know, until it gives up. But the starting and stopping phenomena seems to completely go away when this part is installed correctly or perhaps uh, this part that my part maybe it has got some wear on it or something and it's tricky to get it into position but regardless this seems to be the key to everything <laughs>